My name is Niall Barron, I'm a lecturer in the School of Biotechnology in Dublin City University and I'm also a researcher in the National Institute for Cellular Biotechnology. Uh, my area of research is, as the name suggests, to use cells in order to perform biotechnological applications. Uh, more specifically, we look at using cells to produce modern drugs. So what do I mean by modern drugs? Well, typically when we think of drugs, we think of something simple like aspirin. So aspirin is a very small molecule. It's quite simple to make. We're quite good at it. Chemists are very good at controlling that, you know, making sure that all the, the uh, aspirin molecules that come out at the other end of their process are all the same and therefore will perform their function as needed. Modern drugs are proteins, and proteins are, are much more complicated and difficult to make. It's the equivalent of comparing a bicycle to a jet plane. So we can make bicycles quite easily, perhaps in your own garage at home. You could build something that resembles a bicycle. You'd do very well to produce a, a jet plane at home. Um, so we, we, we use cells in order to do that because chemists can't do it. Um, and the cells that we used to do that are mammalian cells. So originally, uh, these cells were taken from hamsters back in the 1950s, would you believe? They're now grown in huge vats in the same way that Guinness is produced, for example, uh, by yeast. Uh, we use these Cho cells, as they're known, to produce these protein-based drugs. One of the challenges, again, in terms of these drugs is they're extremely expensive. Uh, some people will be aware of the famous postcode lottery in England about 10 years ago where if you were born in a certain jurisdiction, you wouldn't get access to some of these anti-cancer drugs, for instance. Um, however, if you were born or lucky enough to be born and live in Wales, the government or NHS would provide the, the money to, to pay for these drugs. When I talk about cost, what do I mean? Um, a, a company that recently set up in Ireland are selling a drug uh, which tackles a very rare kidney disease. That drug costs 400,000 euros per patient per annum, and it's not a cure but it's extremely useful if you have that uh, uh, unfortunate condition. Uh, you're going to be delighted to have this drug, but as a society, can we afford to continue uh, uh, to supply drugs at that price to the population? Already, some of the biggest employers in terms of uh, biopharmaceutical production are, are already in Ireland. Um, what we do as a research group is we interact with them in order to, first of all, learn what the challenges are. They're typically around making these cells more efficient at producing those drugs. So we look at a very specific group of genes within those cells that control the way those cells make protein. Um, these genes are actually regulators, so they're like the tuners on a radio that turn the volume up and down. Um, and we use those genes to tune the way those cells produce those drugs Already those uh, interventions are improving the efficiency and we hope as time goes on and more of these drugs come to market that they'll become more accessible in terms of price.